Okay, and my sterling friends, as always, is Shocker Du Jour. And today's Shocker Du Jour is about feathers. Well, what about feathers? How big do they come? Where do you find big ones? I think I can answer both of those questions. And I happen to have one right here which appears to me to be a turkey feather. It's a little thicker than your average turkey feather, but it is virtually the same coloration and pattern on both sides. As is my turkey feather, although, like I say, it's kind of thick to be your standard feather. Maybe, I don't know, a thousand times thicker. Not only that, this is not the full feather. This is what they call a barber roll. Right. These right here. <laughs> these, these are the little bits and pieces. This is like when you open these up like that. You're down in here. That's what this is. <laughs> you think it must be a big feather. No. Where did it come from? Well, it came off the side of the road. And I understand, I've been told that they, these things have, you see that? That's this. This got broken right out of there, I believe. My good friend Greg Morrison sent this to me. He sends me all kinds of stuff. And I believe in the same area, he found this, which is an artery. And there is zero question that that is an artery. And it is saturated still with the red blood. And I say zero question why Roger, can you make that claim? Because here it is in the microscope. That is what an artery is. That is what an artery is. These layers exactly, precisely match those layers. You see that? So we're talking big stuff. And you, this is, you know, they're pretty small. Arteries, you know, they're eighth of an inch tops somewhere I don't know they're not they're, they're they're not tiny tiny but they're sure as hell not this big all right so we got some uh, looking to do okay I found this extremely cool this is the main stalk of the feather and then you have all these little barbules I think they call and then you got all these little tiny fluty looking things in there fuzzy little things that's why they're so good at being feather dusters, you know, you, you can pick up the dust, you see all the dust. <laughs> now, that's pretty small. That, those are little tiny fibrils. Now, look at this. This is, for, again, from my good friend Greg Mer Morrison, where he's finding all these feathers down here. I think these are the same as what I just showed you up in these little barbules or whatever you want to call them. And they're these little tiny, 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 would, would catch all the dust. <laughs> to all those ones up there, you see how tiny they are? And I bet you if you get up inside those, you find there's tinier ones. I mean, it, it's just what it is. There's, there's layers of depths of, of, of biology, just incredible. Absolutely stunning when you start to really, really get into it. It's amazing. Now don't forget, these are the kind of things I'm showing. These are the kind of things they're showing. Wow, look at this, this is fabulous. Well, what about that? That's a feather from what I showed you. Came from a big stack of feathers. And this is from my microscope. And here's the stack of feathers. <laughs> there they are right there. It's right on the side of the highway. Now, uh, Greg Morrison found this stuff. He just ran across it. He's been sending me all kinds of stuff. Absolutely fabulous stuff. <laughs> and uh, he's, you know, I, I'm going to brag again. I like bragging every now and then about the people that are researchers that are Mud Fossil University researchers. Greg is a fabulous researcher. Um, Tyson Carlson, absolutely fabulous, doing fabulous work, working hard. Nobody's paying any of these people. Nobody's paying anybody. You know, we're we're just trying to get this information out, and uh, it's a it's a tough thing to do. 
All right, I, I am going to leave it at this for today. That is, um, these are gigantic feathers, absolutely enormously gigantic. From, from whatever, I don't know. I can't tell you. I'm not going to make any major claims. But there's certainly nothing small like this. They're finding these kind of things. And, wow, look at what we found. That's ancient. Even in the colors, right? Well, so is the color on this. And it's on this side of the wing, our feather, on this side of the feather, too. And in the middle is a feather. <laughs> so... I think the stuff I've been showing war it's just some kind of a, 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 you know even like the artery and all that stuff anyway I'm gonna leave it at that again once again today a little frustration at 15 years of having the evidence and there, I see this every day we found another feather we found another this well if they examine what's been really literally forced on them, I think we could get somewhere. And then we could really start examining things for what they are. That, that's my preference. But I guess I, I just like truth. All right, I love you all.